Which movie to watch first, Barbie or Oppenheimer? Or, be a Berbenheimer and watch both? The films Barbie and Oppenheimer were released on the same day, and the contrast between the two films created heat on social media. However, for those who want to know about the movie quality before watching, the Movie Review channel is a good choice. That's why Movie Review is now a hot topic on YouTube. This Movie Review channel is getting huge views every day. He has nearly 2 million subscribers. His popular videos got over a million views. And most recent videos are getting 100,000 views. According to Social Blade, his monthly estimated income is nearly 20,000 US dollars. You can start this kind of movie review channel, even if you don't have any movie review knowledge, you are not a good presenter or don't have a camera, recording device, and environment, you can start a movie review channel. In this video, I will go through the whole process from creating a channel to publishing the video. Let's dive in. First, we will create a brand new YouTube channel, if you already have a channel or are familiar with creating a well-organized channel. Then you can skip this part and start the video from 3 minutes 30 seconds. Okay, after coming to YouTube click on your account icon. If you don't have any channel then you will see an option create a channel. If you already have a channel, click on switch account and then click on view all channels. Now click on create a new channel. Now we need a good name for our channel. Let's ask ChatGPT for it. ChatGPT has generated 10 names for us. Flick Frenzy is quite unique and related to our channel. So I am selecting this one. Copy your favorite one and then paste it on YouTube and create a new channel. Now let's customize our new channel. First, we need a channel description. Let's ask ChatGPT for the channel description. Just enter the prompt as I love the name Flick Frenzy, now write a channel description for me, and then hit the enter button. This channel description is a little bit longer. YouTube supports only 1000 characters. So I will give another command to write it under 1000 characters. That's perfect, copy the description and paste it on YouTube. After completing the process, come to the branding option. Now we need a channel logo. And for creating the logo, I will use Leonardo AI and Canva. You can use any image generator or logo maker. After coming to Leonardo, select Dream Shaper as featured model. Now enter your text prompt. I will put this prompt in the description below. After that change the aspect ratio. For creating a YouTube channel logo, select a square aspect ratio, then hit the generate button. After generating the logo image, select the best one. I like this one. Download the image. Now I will use Canva to edit this image. After coming to Canva, search for the YouTube logo. Now select the blank page. After coming to the editor page, upload your AI generated logo image. Adjust the image size and position. And then add a text box. Enter your channel name in the text box. Then change the text font and color to make the logo attractive. After all is set, download the image. Alright, our logo is ready, now we will create a YouTube channel banner image. Go to the Canva homepage and search for YouTube channel banner. You will notice a vast number of templates. Select the perfect banner template and then click on customize the channel. Now add your channel logo and add your channel name. After all is set, download the banner. Our logo and banner image is ready. Let's add them to our new channel. First, I will upload the channel logo. And then I will add the banner image. In the video watermark, I will use the channel logo. After completing the process publish the channel and the brand new movie review channel is ready. Now it's time for start the content creation journey. If you have a deep knowledge of filmmaking, then you can write your own review as I have zero knowledge of filmmaking so I will use others' reviews. Don't worry, you won't receive any copyright strike. In the next step, I will introduce an extraordinary AI video generator that is able to rewrite the script to make it more engaging and copyright-free. Okay, let's collect a review from Google search. For example, I am searching for Oppenheimer movie review. Now select one website and then copy the review script and then paste it on a doc file. Alright, our review script is ready, now we will create a video with it. For creating the video, I will use Wondershare Verbo. 
Wondershare Verbo is an AI video creation tool developed by Wondershare, which allows you to create realistic videos in multiple languages using different AI avatars. Featuring 150 plus AI spokesmen, 120 plus voices, and languages, Wondershare Verbo allows for easy customization to fit individual or business preferences. It supports Windows, mobile app, and web version. In this video, I'll show you the desktop version. We have to download the application from their website first, I will put the link in the description. Let's click on free download. When your download is completed install the app on your system. And then open the app. After coming to the Verbo homepage you will find a vast number of realistic AI avatars. Here I'm going to highlight that Verbo has AI presenters in different gestures, like standing and sitting. Besides, the avatars can be masked with a circular view and the background color can be changed. Select one avatar and then select the aspect ratio. I will select 16 colon 9, it's the best fit for a YouTube video. This is the creator page. Now copy the first part of your script. There is an important part. Don't paste the script in the script box. For avoiding copyright issues, we will use AI script. It will rewrite the script as our own script. OK, select AI script and paste the script. Ensure that your script is not longer than 2000 characters. After that select one optimization option. It will rewrite our script. I will select engaging. You can see a new script has been generated. And it is totally our own script. There is another interesting feature of Wondershare Verbo. You can translate your script into more than 120 languages. I have tested it. Their translator is just insane. Now you can create videos in your regional language also. Alright, now click on play script to hear the voiceover. Christopher Nolan's latest film, Oppenheimer, purports to be a biopic of the world-renowned theoretical physicist. You can change the voice model. For doing this click here. You will find more than 180 voice models in different languages and accents. You can customize the voice by changing speed and pitch. It will create a unique voiceover. OK, now we will customize the caption. Select the caption and then change the text style. Always select the style which will be visible in every environment. Then select a font. Always select a bold font. After that, you can change the background footage. Click on the background switch button. You will find a vast number of backgrounds based on various use cases. You can even upload your own background footage. OK, you can create a new scene in the timeline. In Verbo you can create a maximum 2 minute long video at one time. So I won't enter a new script and I will cut some lines from the current script. OK, now click on the plus icon from here and select the default template. A new storyboard will appear. Now paste the script here. You can add a new background image. Just click on the background switch button and upload your background. After uploading the background you can adjust the avatar position if needed. But I will suggest going with a green screen background. Because we will edit this video later with a video editor to make the video more stunning. The total length of our video is now 1 minute and 50 seconds. We have to export this video now. Click on the export button from here. It will take some time to export. Let's fast forward this part. Alright, our video has been exported. Now click on the download icon to save the video on your device. The first part of our video has been generated. Now let's go to the second part. For doing this click on the home button. After coming to the home page, select the same avatar again. Change the background to green. Go to the doc file and copy the second part of the script and then come back to Verbo. And then paste the script. Customize the caption. Then change the voice model. Select the same voice model used in part 1. After all is set, hit the export button. In this way generate videos with the whole script. When video generation is completed download all of the video. In the free version, you will be able to export a 2 minute free video. Then you have to upgrade your account. Let's have a look at their subscription pricing. There are three plans available here. First, the monthly plan. With this $19.9 worthy plan, you will be able to create 20-minute video in one month. 
There are two essential and pro yearly plans, the main difference between these two is that the pro has no video credit limit. This is the price for a year, which translates to just $17.90 or $21.90 per month. In my opinion, if you do decide to start a faceless YouTube channel, the pro yearly plan is the most cost-effective option. Remember similar AI avatar tools I mentioned in previous videos, Credo AI and HeyGen? Verbo is fully capable of replacing them and becoming one of your options. Alright, our video generation is now completed. Now I will edit those videos with a video editor. I will use Wondershare Filmora. Import all the videos to your editor. As I am creating the Oppenheimer movie review, I have downloaded some pictures and a trailer for this movie. But I will suggest not to use any video footage. It may cause copyright issues. Ok, import those images or footage. Now put the first video footage on the timeline. Bring the footage in video timeline 2, because we will import b-roll footage on timeline 1. After that select the main footage and then come the AI tool option. Turn on the chroma key. It will remove the green screen. Alright, now put the image or video footage on timeline 1 as b-roll footage. Now adjust the b-roll footage size and position and also the length. If you want to add new footage you can do it. Always remember if you enter any video footage, ensure to mute the audio of the footage. Alright, in the same way, add the other video footage and complete the editing. After completing the editing, export the video. Ok, our video is now ready. Let's upload our first video. After coming to YouTube click on the plus button form here and then select upload video. Now upload the final video. A catchy and relevant title is very important for a YouTube video. ChatGPT may help us for a catchy title. Just ask for your video title. And then copy the title and paste it on YouTube. Then add a relevant description. I will generate a description with ChatGPT. Now another important part. A catchy thumbnail is very important for any video. And I will use Canva for creating the thumbnail. After coming to Canva, search for YouTube thumbnails. You will find a thousand thumbnail templates. Select the best one fit for your video and then edit the thumbnail. Don't use any misleading elements. After all is set, download the thumbnail and upload it to YouTube. If you have created a new channel you have to verify the channel with your phone number. Ok, now publish the video as public. Our video has been published. Let's enjoy the video. Christopher Nolan's latest film, Oppenheimer, purports to be a biopic of the world-renowned theoretical physicist and the so-called father of the atomic bomb, J. Robert Oppenheimer. But such a classification falls miserably short of capturing the behemoth magnitude and complexity of this cinematic masterpiece. Oppenheimer is a multilayered feast that seamlessly weaves together a tumultuous courtroom drama, a fiery romance, intellectual thrillers, and cult of personality lectures to create an intricate period piece of epic proportions. But at its core lies a grander theme, one of ultimate destruction. Oppenheimer, starring the mesmerizing Killian Murphy in the titular role, is a horror-filled portrayal of an atomic-age Frankenstein, consumed by the unbridled potential of science, but hopelessly oblivious to the horrendous consequences of his creation. The film does not stop there, however. Instead, it delves much deeper, brilliantly portraying humanity's insatiable thirst for annihilation, which has no bounds. As the story unfolds, one can see the terror and regret etched onto Murphy's face as he realizes the catastrophic ramifications of his actions. His piercing, far-sighted gaze has never been put to better use. Oppenheimer is not just an impressive biopic, it is a masterpiece of unparalleled proportions that must be seen to be believed. How was the video? Let me know in the comments section. You can create more stunning and professional videos by giving time in the editing section. Alright, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience with a movie review YouTube channel creation and what other types of YouTube videos you guys think you can create with Verbo's AI avatar. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below.
Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating!